There is something that you can start doing right now to actively fight your prostate cancer. It is fun, it doesn't hurt, it doesn't destroy the rest of your healthy cells, and your doctor probably and unfortunately hasn't recommended it to you. What is it? Exercise can fight cancer directly. And I do not mean reduce the risk of getting cancer, no, no. I mean it can reduce the growth of tumor if you already have cancer. And in this video, I will be showing you the scientific evidence that shows this and what you can start doing today to fight the cancer. Now you might be wondering, all right, exercise might be able to fight the cancer, but I will probably need to be exercising for years to have a measurable effect, right? Wrong. You will be surprised to learn that even a single exercise session, something that you can do today, can reduce the growth of prostate cancer by as much as 30%. Let's look at a couple of studies, what they did and what they found, before I tell you exactly what exercises you need to do to get this benefit, how often, how much and how hard. Let's dive right in. But before that, if you click like on this video, it's gonna help spread it to those who might need it and raise awareness. The first study comes to us from the University of California. And they had men at risk of prostate cancer do a swimming exercise protocol that took about 45 to 50 minutes every time they did it. And they were doing it five days a week. And now what they measured is they had prostate cancer cell lines in petri dish in the lab and they took the blood of these men at rest before they started the exercise program and put it on the prostate cancer cell lines and measured how much they're growing and then they compared it with the blood that they took after a while in just 11 days of doing that swimming protocol the growth of the prostate cancer cell lines when the blood after the exercise was applied and was compared to before the exercise, it was reduced by 30%. And the cell death, the death of the prostate cancer cells, was increased by 371%. When they added a dietary intervention, when they took these men who were exercising and they also made them eat a low-fat diet, aka non-western style diet those results were further accelerated so it sounds like if you do about an hour of swimming most days of the week in just 10 to 11 days you are starting to strike some major victories against prostate cancer but now the next study comes to us from karolinska institute in sweden and they had healthy men do 60 minutes of intense cycling exercise in the lab and they took their blood again after the exercise and applied it to the prostate cancer cell lines and their growth was decreased by 31 percent how crazy is that just one exercise session creates an anti-tumor environment in the body and I will talk about in a future video how is that created, with what molecules, what pathways are released but what you need to know now is that the moment you start exercising, the moment your heart rate goes up and you're moving your muscles, that's when we are fighting the cancer. That's when we're creating this anti-tumor environment in our body that really, really reduces and makes it hard for the cancer to grow. And now imagine if you can combine this effect with the treatments that you're getting, such as chemo, radiotherapy, immunotherapy, hormone therapy, all the treatments you might be getting, and it will actually get you fitter and you'll be able to tolerate more of the treatments at the same time. But what exercise can you do to start fighting the cancer now? I quickly want to say that if you're looking for more detailed guides 
on using exercise to fight prostate cancer and reduce any side effects you might be experiencing from the cancer treatments such as incontinence or erectile dysfunction, you can find those on my website in the description. Aerobic exercise that is a bit longer in duration and a bit more intense, it gets your heart rate up, it makes you you're breathing and talking a bit more difficult, that seems to be the clear winner to induce this effect. I have personally published articles that showed that the higher the heart rate during exercise, the more the immune system gets activated, it gets into certain destroy mode. And what's important for you to note is that you cannot do it all at once. You can't do all your weekly exercise in just one day, three hours on a Sunday. Uh, similar to a pill or uh, a medicine. You cannot, if you have headache, you cannot just take the whole box on a single sitting. What I would suggest that you can start doing from today is First of all, pick an aerobic activity that you like. That can be swimming, running, maybe on a treadmill, walking on an inclined treadmill, cycling or rowing, and start doing it three to five times every single week. Now, you need to do it at an intensity that is a bit challenging to you and especially it will get your heart rate up and it will make it a bit more difficult to breathe and talk. Of course, first check with your doctor if it's safe for you to exercise, but if it is, you need to work at a challenging level. And then in regards to the duration, start doing it for as long as you can. If you can't do 30 minutes, do 20, do 10, do 5, do two, however many minutes you can do this activity, start doing it three to five times a week and then you aim to build up the time that you're doing it. Your goal over time will be to accumulate 75 to 150 minutes of this aerobic activity per week. But you can start doing this today and in just 10 days, not even 10 days, even after the first exercise session, you will have started making it really difficult for your prostate cancer to grow. Now, you might be wondering, all right, you told me to do all this exercise with the increased blood flow. That will also increase the blood flow around and within my prostate and my prostate cancer. Will that make it easier for the cancer to metastasize? For example, a piece of the, of the prostate cancer, like a cell of the tumor, might uh, break off from this high blood flow and go to another part of my body and spread there. Is that possible? Well, that is a valid question, but it deserves a whole other video on its own. I'll see you guys on the next video, and until then, let's keep fighting.